Greenboro Hawks return to action this weekend at the Canavac Cup in Burlington, Vermont. First up Friday night, the Riverboro Hawks will take on Harvard. We're joined by head coach Norm Bejan. And, and, and Norm, tournaments like this first simply have to be fun. Oh, they certainly do. Uh, uh, after a long break, you're looking to get everybody involved again, and, and there should be an exciting weekend of hockey. Beyond that, is this is there more importance to tournaments in that they can act as a dress rehearsal for what we might face during the postseason? Yeah, you like to think so. It's a small tournament atmosphere. It, it's uh, it's only over a couple of days, so you got to come together very quickly. We have been very successful in tournaments during your reign here. Um, I think five or six. Uh, championships. What is the key to being successful in a tournament? Well, I think it's everybody doing their small part. Um, when you're coming back from a long break, it's everybody uh, keeping the game simple and enjoying the atmosphere. You mentioned the long break, and it's been nearly three weeks since we last played hockey. And then there were a couple of 10 day breaks prior to that. Does it take a while to get back to midseason form, or this far into the year, it doesn't take long to, to get back into it? We'll let you know after the break. It, it's it's tough to predict. To be quite frank, it's uh, there's going to be turnovers. There's going to be mistakes by both teams. It, it's a matter of uh, executing when you do have the puck. We haven't played Harvard often over the years. I think we played them just three times, winning two of those three. Do we know very much about them? And if so, what are the things that stand out to you? Well, I, I see they're a very structured club. Uh, they've got some uh, difference makers on offense, the Nato kid being one of them. Um, they're very uh, good on the cycle. Uh, they're certainly uh, very structured on the forecheck, so we're going to have our work cut out for us. And we know they're a good team. I think at this time of the year, uh, you play a lot of good teams. That's what you want. As you look at our first half of the season, what's your assessment of what you saw during the first couple of months? Well, I think it's uh, we're a work in progress. We still are. However, this is second half, so freshmen, uh, you know, aren't freshmen anymore. They come back as uh, as upperclassmen. So you're hoping that uh, people can figure out uh, their role on the team and then move forward in that direction. You mentioned the freshmen. Did you like what you saw and the way they adjusted during um, the first half of the season? I think people like Charlie Levesque and uh, Connor Sodergren and uh, Croy Evingson particularly that jumped to mind. But did you like what you saw from the group? Well, I think there's some potential, certainly. I, I, you can't uh, rely on freshmen to, uh, to save the day. You've got to let them progress uh, in their own time. And uh, from our standpoint, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how some of the upperclassmen come back and make their mark here in the second half. For the upperclassmen, what's different this year is that they're in different roles because of those who have graduated or have left the program. Did you feel that they, I, I guess, accepted the mantle of responsibility the way you'd hoped? Well, I, I think, again, you, uh, you hope for certain things, and the reality of it is it comes in different stages. So, you know, right now we're just focusing on the second half. The first half is, uh, is irrelevant. It, it's basically uh, uh, 500 hockey uh, for a lot of teams in the nation. It's a matter of how you come back in the second half and, and what you make uh, of, of that. We've had some terrific second halves over the last several years. Is there a key to a good second half, or is it more just you take each game one at a time and go out and, and play your game? Yeah, I think it's more of what you just talked about, taking one game at a time and enjoying it, because we're playing for a championship over the next three days, and that's what we're concentrating on. It'll be a lot of fun. You mentioned fun, and I've talked to you a lot of times over <clears throat> the last several years, and that's one thing you do come back to. Is it hard to keep to always keep it fun? I think it's important. These kids are here to uh, to enjoy playing hockey. It, it's not a job yet. You know, they're here playing uh, playing hockey and going to school. So you got to keep it fun. They everybody enjoys playing for something, whether you're playing in the outdoor rink for something, or you're playing uh, at the Canamon Cup. So we're going to enjoy this uh, next tournament coming up. To you as a coach, is it always fun for you? Because it is a job as well. You mentioned for them, it's not necessarily it's not a job yet. For you, it's a job. I see you smiling. Is it fun? Yeah, certain times it is. It's more a livelihood, so we, we make a big deal out of it. But these kids uh, can enjoy it a little bit more. They're young and, and impressionable, so we're hoping they do enjoy it and, uh, and make the best uh, of it. Going back to where we started, you mentioned we're playing for a trophy. Do you learn something about your team when there's something on the line like a trophy? Yeah, I think you do. I think you learn to, uh, to, uh, 
to analyze the kids' games and see who can play a certain role in, in a crucial situation. And you don't like to make too much of it coming back from three weeks off. However, certain guys can, uh, uh, can assimilate to a, to a simple job perhaps and, and do it very well. And I think that's what uh, makes a good team. We've come full circle. I hope the holiday was a good one for you, and I hope the new year is terrific as well, Norm. I thank you very much for your time. Happy holidays, Bob. And again, the River Hawks take on Harvard Friday, 4 o'clock, the opening round of the Catamount Cup. <laughs>